Good morning, it's the date you're watching this, and if you can believe it, it's the day of the week you're watching this. Once again! This video is made possible by Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Tristan J. Miller to support me there. You can receive early access to videos like this one along with podcasts, art posts, and so much more. David Lynch is an American artist, filmmaker, and now strangely, YouTuber. He's best known for his films such as Elephant Man, Eraserhead, and Blue Velvet, but he's probably most well known for his involvement with the hit television series Twin Peaks. From 2020 to 2022, David Lynch has become increasingly popular online due to his daily posts to his YouTube channel where he tells you what the weather's going to be like, picks a number of the day, and intermittently he'll let you know what he's been working on as an artist. A barn about the right size for the small animals they're building. Sheep, ducks, cat, dog, horse... Uh, some fruit trees, and it should be a nice little farm, and possibly uh, we'll get some photos of that to share. Okay, that's what I'm working on today. Hope you all are having a great time working on your projects. See you next time. These daily videos were imperative to my mental health during the height of the 2020 lockdown here in the States. As my mind slowly melted into a gelatinous goo from which we could eventually evolve again, his daily reminder of what day it was, both time, date, and also just something that was on his mind, really grounded me during a very tumultuous time, and for that I am forever grateful. Good morning. It's August 21, 2020, and once again, it's a Friday. David has a generally chipper and optimistic demeanor in most of these videos, seemingly sprung from the fact that he truly believes that the best is yet to come. I'm wearing dark glasses today because I'm seeing the future and it's looking very bright. Overall, his YouTube page is built on hope, positivity, and a longing to share a little bit of his life with others. Wood. Wood is such a blessing for humanity. This joyful presence is counterbalanced by many clips surfacing around the internet of David feeling frustrated. <laughs> Is that the same? Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Is that the same? Uh -oh. Plaster of Paris bullshit! Depressed and seemingly at his wit's end. I'm so depressed I don't know what I'm doing. I have not got a clue. However, none of these clips discredit the joy he has proclaimed himself to feel and wants for other people. <laughs> okay, I love you, Tidbit. Love you too. I love you, sweetie. David is, as a person, unafraid to experience life fully. He is also unafraid to share those experiences, even the unflattering ones. What's with, what is this with everybody? No, 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 no. What is it? It's really? Me. It's Why? My I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm serious. Fucking A, man. It drives me nuts. Who gives a fucking shit how long a scene is? Okay. David is, by all reports, a free spirit, creating art uncluttered from anxieties and with a childlike playfulness. There are stories of him whistling while riding a bike on the set of Blue Velvet, letting actors play music on the set of Twin Peaks. If you be the last of all from as I take it The first 
That's it. Beautiful. Along with accounts of him leading with joy and humor and encouragement on his sets. This is seemingly in opposition to the work he creates. Filled with grotesque characters and violent situations, Lynch's work is often described as horrific. However, when he was asked about the seeming contradiction, he replied with, They say, how come if you're so happy, you make films uh, that are so dark and troubling? The bottom line is the artist doesn't have to suffer to show suffering. Many artists say what they do is a form of therapy to the point of cliche, but the only person that I truly believe this is true for is David. David spews forth all his vile, terrible and intrusive thoughts onto the canvas and screen and is left with nothing but a calm center of joy in his life. To live such a life is admirable. To accept all of life's flaws, tumultuous situations and frustrations, and still live with hope in one's life is incredible. David Lynch encourages us to have the joy and courage to revel in life, both the light and the dark. David lets us, despite being a famously cagey person, mm -hmm. uh, why, why, we'll elaborate on that. No, I won't. <laughs> um... See all of him when he chooses to show himself to us. David is a huge proponent of transcendental meditation. Transcendental meditation gives an experience much sweeter than the sweetness of this donut. He would most likely credit this practice to his attitude about life. He encourages everyone to take care of themselves and to try and create as much joy and light in their life as possible. Look, if you're truly depressed, they say you can't even get out of bed, let alone create. If you're truly angry, occupies the whole brain, poisons the artist, poisons the environment, little room for creativity. And I use this example. If you have a splitting headache, splitting headache, and you have nausea, you're vomiting, and you have diarrhea on top of that, how much work are you going to be doing, and how much are you going to enjoy it? This practice also looks at the interconnectedness of all things, of the dark, the light, the ups, the downs, in between people and plants and animals, and all one force, if you will that guides us all. And then, about 30 years ago, modern science, quantum physics, discovered the unified field. The unity of all the particles and all the forces of matter, of creation. But all things come from it. Anything that is a thing has emerged from this field of unity. It's oneness. And through sharing his thoughts and feelings about whether or not it's going to rain in Los Angeles County, California, David offers a connection with us. We are all connected. We are all the same. We're all David Lynch. I hope you enjoyed this documentary. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the very, very best. The Sunday, the Monday, great days. Tuesday, Wednesday, 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 Thursday, Friday, great days.